It's tea time, positive tea time, and we are spilling all of it right here in this space created by two crazy fun-loving besties. It's a no-judgment zone for sharing stories of hope, faith, love, growth, and most of all, grace and gratitude. So join us as we get ready to share some positivity and get a fresh perspective on life. Hello and welcome to our final episode for, for season, season four. four. Can you believe? Brought to you by Tetley. Tetley Tea. We have here, we have some immu- super tea. It's an immune vitamin C. Vitamin C. And then we have super boost with vitamin B6, which I love. And then we have super tea support with vitamin D. So these are all oh, super yes. tea. And don't let's forget peppermint. And peppermint, of course. Which is for the stomach and the yeah, gut. Absolutely. So thank you, Tetley. Thank you. So this episode is where it's just Natasha and I have become known as the friendship episodes. We always get lots of DMs and questions about our friendship and about the dynamics of that. So we're going to continue rolling with with that that theme. Exactly. And our friendship is a generational friendship. Absolutely. Meaning that her dad, for those of you who don't know, her dad and my uncle were friends. Yeah. um, In secondary school, high school. Mm -hmm. And then she and I became friends at the tender age of 13, 14. Yeah, 13, 14 for you, <laughs> 16 for me. Yeah, around that age. And it has continued to blossom into generational friendship. Yeah. Into Family leg- choose. Yeah, legacy, sisterhood. Mm-hmm. Sisterhood for sure. Yeah. So we're going to talk today about the journey of friendship, mm-hmm. especially now that we are a different age. 50s babies. 50s babies. And okay. 50s really, as someone just said to us, was very special, said to us, we are at the prime of our lives. Prime time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what we've recognized, and I can say this for both of us, even without asking Natasha, how important friendships have become yeah. as we enter the golden, beautiful age, age of for the sure. 50s. Yeah. So, Tash, what's one of the key things you've learned about friendship if, as you look through not only our friendship, the dynamics of friendship through your life now? Ooh, what I, what for me, um, what's important? Mm-hmm. And what have you learned through the journey, the good and the bad? So I've learned that everybody who comes into your life and may have had a period of friendship that not everybody's meant to stay, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, And that's okay. You have to be okay with that because I've also learned that you have to decide what is friendship for you Mm -hmm. and what that looks like. Um, And you know me, I I don't do shallow well. Mm -hmm. I do deep enduring i mean most of my close friends have been friends for like 30, 20 something 30 something years yeah. Yeah. you know um so i think i've learned that those people who have stayed in my life how special those friendships are and it's a, always a space of completely accepting me for who i am without judgment and me accepting them and giving grace and just fully just loving me for me without having to be concerned about, you know, I just don't second guess it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. I think one of the things I learned, especially too, is the importance of boundaries uh, yeah. in my life and the importance of setting boundaries. And because I want everybody to do well, doesn't mean that everybody has to be in my space. Right. Um, I can support people without having to take everybody's because sometimes what happens is, and again, by setting boundaries, some people recognize that you may be that person who is always willing there to help and support. And therefore, they, it becomes more of using you for that element mm-hmm. of yourself as opposed to being a mutually supportive space. Yes. And not that you're creating friendships for support, but support is one of the hallmarks of a good friendship. Absolutely. And therefore, because it is, you have to be able to say and know those people who are genuinely supporting you and those people who are just there for the right. Yes. And the good time. And we always come back to that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that you have to also... Just be aware of how you are being a friend. I mean, you and I have been friends, so we always say this, what's 35, yeah. well, however many years it is now. Yeah, that's the best quote that you can take. <laughs> I just make a very broad <laughs> statement about that. And we have been there through so many different milestones. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've grown together. Yes. And have. a lot of times people, you don't, some people don't, they don't grow together. You know, yeah. people get different values. They're yeah, different, they you change. know, they change. And, and we all change, And I guess. we all change. Yeah. What I'm saying just like in any relationship, whether it's a marriage or friendship, whatever it is, if you don't grow together and have the same values and the same interests, mm-hmm. 
that's how sometimes you know friendships will will yeah, will change yeah, and absolutely. and maybe not be as close not be there are people that you were friends with that you thought that you'd be friends with forever mm-hmm. and then you look back and you're like Well, I haven't yeah. seen this person in 10 years But or you five know, years. But you know, Natasha, sometimes people stay in friendships because they think that person's been in their life forever. So they think that I have to nurture. They know it may not be the best space for them, mm-hmm. but they sometimes believe they have to stay in that space because that person has been in their life for a long time. But are, are you bringing value to them and are they bringing value to you? That's the question. That's a hard question to answer because what, what kind of like, topples that all over is the length of time, the longevity of the person, knowing the person. And yeah. sometimes people are also afraid to step out and create new friendships. Because mm-hmm. um, our, life, our life goes down so many different paths. Yeah. You could get married and have four kids and a, and a, and a, and a dog and a picket fence. <laughs> you could be single for your entire life. You could be single and divorced. You could be, you know, have, you know, it, it, so many variations of us, things happen in life. And sometimes people feel, well, that person is my constant right. because that person has always been there. But the friendship, the values and the quality of the friendship may not be there. But I guess it all boils down to what your definition is of friendship, mm-hmm. what that is for you. Is it just having somebody in your life who's just been there all along? You have nothing in common. You you don't have any of the same interests, but they've been there for 30 something years. Yeah. I don't think that that makes sense either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It doesn't. Um, you know, in my I, opinion. yeah, I think yeah. it's about who has shown up over those however many years have they shown up, have they been consistent? Friendships go through hills and valleys. Mm, yeah. There's no question about that. You know, I'm going to agree on everything, but there has to be something that is at the core mm-hmm. that is holding yeah, holding that friendship, you know, absolutely. together. I think one of the things so that's really important, I think, and it really is a hallmark of our friendship, is that although we are, we've been friends for 35 years and we've grown through our, our teens, our 20s, our 30s, our 40s, and 50s, wow. there are certain it's things, it's a lot, <laughs> we've seen each other through the good and the bad, bad yes. but one thing that we have not lost um, kind of sight of is the importance of spending quality, good, fun yeah, time. Yeah, fun. Yeah, and we see that every time we do something mm-hmm. really funny mm-hmm. or what people may consider to be not traditional yeah people always go like oh god i love how y'all do that yeah and it's like because people feel you've gone to a certain age that you have to start having fun you have to stop having fun the thing with maria and i is that we don't stop playing you don't stop always Mm -mm. playing we're Mm -mm. always doing listen we're gonna be 80 you know what i mean you always send those mimis of people 80 and they have the kings and they're still dancing and stuff that's gonna be us mental health is important yeah your friendships nurture your mental health They sure do. They sure do. Hello. This one here has kept me from going crazy many times. (laughs) Thank you, sis. You're welcome. And this one here has has helped me to see... When I am trying to overdo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you're pushing, too, you're pushing too much into that space. And that space is not yeah. a good space. You do. So, yeah, you have those people who are going to call you to action and call you from, from action. Yes, it's so exactly. True. It's, but, yeah, I think that's one of the things that I, I think is really important. In our 20s, we were coming. In our teens, we were fetting and summer yes. was all that. In our 20s, 20s we were starting to work, work and get know. our careers together, get our family yeah, started, get him married, you're, you you're know. selling into family yes. life. 40s, all of a sudden you wake Everything up and you go like, like what's going what's on? Going on? <laughs> We are women. Yes, roll. Yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden now you want to st- you, you start focusing on that. And by the time you get in your 50s, you do not care what nobody no, thinks or nobody sees. Thinks. And can I, a funny story, it's so funny, like Maria, like, you know, is fabulous and She's also a very good protector. Like, you know, people will say, well, Maria, how can you, know, you know, associate with whatever, whoever it is? And Maria's always like, I know my people, though. I know my people. She's that type of person. That's the type of friend you want. Yeah. You understand? You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, know, I absolutely know what you mean. And I, I don't want people, anybody questioning my choices and my judgment. Mm-hmm. Because I don't judge people based on home, car, land, or or the, what, whatever what they, where they were. Worth. The friendships have to be based not on people's net worth, but people's quality of personality and, and what kind of human being that they are. Who they are at the soul. At the soul, definitely. Soul level, mm-hmm. you know. I have a, a, a real problem of picking up single white females. <sighs> and if it wasn't for Natasha, Stalkers. 
Who will tell me? Stalkers. Maria, you realize this person is starting to dress at you. You realize this person is starting to behave at you. Oh, my God. And I'm like, but you know. It has happened our whole friendship. This is 40 some. This is almost 40 years now, right? Yeah. And yeah. I, I mean, she's fabulous. So, yes. But, you know, it, it gets a little bit. I am so happy that I have this protector. I know a lot of them don't like. I mean, they're yeah. not in my lives really now anymore. People don't, people don't like that. that but. Yeah. But Natasha called me to action and say, yeah. you know, listen, though, that is a little freaky. How come that person is starting to talk and look like you? So I thank you for that. You are so because welcome. Because that is a support, that, that kind of protection. Because Every, you can't always see it. Yeah. So you say you support, you protect. Yes. And sometimes yeah. you bring the energy in. As as you go through life, there are different things. There were times when I was the protector. Oh yes, she was. Yes. So therefore, oh, yes. you change. And I was a supporter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's the thing Dynamics. about friendship and, and long term friendship. Yes, and as we age, mm -hmm. we know each other so well. I think we're able to, you know, trust each yeah. other. I trust our judgment. I trust the other person's judgment. judgment. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, but um, one of the other things that I also had to bring to Maria's attention sometime is that. She's, a, and I've said it before, you know, maybe I said, but she's a giver. And sometimes the people that she's giving to, they don't support her. Maria will repost. If she sees you ding, ding, going down the road and you're, she's friends with ding, ding, and ding, ding has something going on, she's going to repost it. She can send it to everybody and she's going to say, look, this person is doing great stuff. But the same people that she's hyping up and, and doing all that stuff for, they don't, they don't do it for her. Yeah. But you know, and I, I'm not saying that you do those no, things I don't. to get I don't understand. things. Protectors I in still action. think that you have to see who's actually supporting you. You're absolutely right. And I think for me, what I go with is, you know, I am not, I do it because of the goodness of my heart. Right. Maybe I'm too Pollyanna-ish, no, no. but I'm not going to change that about myself. But at least I know with you, you will say, listen, you know, and spirit positivity back. has really been an experience for us because oh, yes. this has really been a space that has grown. And we did this out of a friendship for a way for us to have something to, have something, to, to yeah. do together. Because obviously we, we, Natasha is an amazing producer and she's an amazing, amazing journalist. And I love the idea of content. Mm -hmm. I love the business side of anything. And we thought it would be a great way to nurture our friendship. So that's right. one of the things, the that's dynamics right. of friendship, mm -hmm. is you also have to find new things to connect on. To, yes. Yeah. We had yes. time with Zumba was our thing. Exactly. And, and now we do salsa so sometimes we together. together. Exactly. You know? Spilling positivity has been able to support other people in helping them in their friendships mm -hmm. and other aspects of our lives. And that is something we both are all about, about how we can support people mm -hmm. to be the best self while right. supporting ourselves to yes. be our, our best self. And doing, well, so we always find something that we can do, do together. together. It used to be that, the beach when we were in our yes, teens. it was. And we're house and partying. <laughs> Let's just be honest with the public. And then it was fairs, then it was like crab fairs, fairs and, and yes. you know, all different kinds of yes. things. Yes. So I think yeah. that's one of the hallmarks of our friendship. We invest time, time in each other. Each other, yeah. You know, and I think that that's, that's that important. That is just important. No, it's also sunset. Yes. Oh my God. At the beach. At the beach on a yeah, Sunday. That is time. something that we really enjoy. Yeah. So the dynamics of friendship, let's talk about the changing scenes of life and mm -hmm. what that means. Um, find things to do with your friends yes. that you can connect on or it may be their interests that you can partake in or it could be a mutual interest. Precisely. Um, and there's the um, having the same values. Having the same values for sure. And recognizing what you can bring to the friendship and how that may change. I being the protector at one point. And she's being the supporter, supporter and then the vice versa. Vice versa as well. And then also, which is really important for us, is that every friendship does not have to last a lifetime. Yes. Yeah. And you yeah. could wish, you could love people. We always say from this a from, a, from a distance and support them. It's not that you want to be angry with them or anything. Yeah. But those people that I like to call now my circle of love. Yes. That's so important for me because I have, like you said, we've gone through this journey of finding where boundaries lie yeah. and finding people according to that. And, and what you're going to accept and what you're not going gonna to accept. accept. Yes. And, you know, I always say, you know, I'm, a, I'm all in. So it means that. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to that space where I can just be like a little piece. Yeah, you're all in. Right? Yeah. So then when I feel that, I just yeah. kind of pull back, yeah. which is okay. I, I understand myself and I'm working okay. on it. And that's the beautiful thing. It's a journey of life. It's not full stop. Anymore, no, it's you know? not. And you know, like 
and you're really all in because one of the things that I, I love about you is that you'll be having a conversation with somebody and they say, you know, I'm having um, problems with my gut. You can go online. You can find everything on gut. You need to drink this. You need to eat this. Um, this is this works really well. You can send them up all the information, all the resources that to help them. Because your thing is, let me see what I have that I can. And you may go in your help. own cupboard yeah. and say, this has helped me before. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put it in a bag and you're going to take it for the person. Mm -hmm. And that caring spirit is yeah. what makes you such a beautiful human and being. you are an investor and nurturer in people. I mean, we both are. I mean, Gemini's and Cancer, you know, yeah, it's all that, the sensitive of right, loving nature. That's right. There's three of us here. There's table. three. Yeah, three of us. <laughs> yes, they definitely are. So thank you for joining us for our final episode for season, season four. four yes. We want to thank our production team. We are nothing without Michael, Michael Holder. B. Rocka. B. Rocka. On his IG, Miss Heidi. Heidi, more than makeup. She makes us look more than Lee amazing. Yeah. And she is just one of our circles of love. That's so it's Michael. Right. That's right. And, and to every guest. Um, yes, every guest. We had some great guests this season, Moya. I'm telling some you. stories that were kind of deep. Yeah. I hope very... you enjoyed them. And make sure you share them with your the friends, friends and family coming. and you know, give us some feedback what you thought this season was like. Yep, yep. And obviously we have to thank Barbados uh, today. And Bar and BT Lifestyle. And BT Lifestyle. And our sponsors. For this for this segment was um Tetley. Tetley, yes. yes. We thank them so much thank for this. You. And there's one thing we want to share, and this is really important, because we know that we always say that there's a presence of God in what Absolutely. we do. When we started preparing for season four. We had no idea we had no what clue. Um, episodes we were going to no. do. And then we started to create episodes. Actually, some of the people couldn't make it. And people just fell in. Yeah. Or people approached us and said, yeah. I want to share my story. Mm -hmm. And we really appreciate yeah. every guest because mm -hmm. you're opening it yourself. And it's sometimes hard yeah, it to is. be vulnerable. And sharing some personal, personal things, things, you know, that yeah. are deep. So. Yeah. And the fact that people think we're a safe place to do that. No judgment no zone. No judgment zone at yeah. all. So all thank right. you. Thank you, everybody. 30 episodes later. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Thanks and take care. Stay positive until you see us for season. Bye. Bye. Cinco. Bye. Bye. Bye.